Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. The texts say that Inquisitor Emeridan was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes, precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. If the last Inquisitor has been missing for 800 years, it's only fitting that today's Inquisition help find him. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the Basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I thought we could catch up. Of course. Have you spoken to Kenrick much? A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever. Really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. <laughs> he can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. How do you like the Frostback Basin? It's lovely, isn't it? At least until you step in a pile of bog fissure poo. The stuff's vile. It makes great fuel for starting fires, though. If you can tolerate the smell. I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. The commander would never go for it. He's too dignified. You mean uptight? Sorry. Don't tell him I said that. What are your thoughts about our progress against Corypheus? We're getting close. It feels like we're on the right track, doesn't it? Everyone working together against our common goal. It feels... good. They say you grew up in a village. Where did you learn how to fight? Draw a bow? All that? Here and there. You pick things up as a little dwarf girl in a village filled with piggish Ferelden boys. I'm no artist with a blade. I just know what hurts, and what takes him down quick. Bruised a shin or two in my day, and a few, you know, other things. <laughs> and archery? Oh, there was a traveling hunter who set me up with my first bow and taught me the basics. After that, I practiced on my own. <laughs> on squirrels, mostly. Oh, and Heinrich from next door, but only with padded arrows. I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montelier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just, I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. What do you think about the Avar? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close? It's nothing like I thought. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. Oh, I like the way she thinks. We should keep her around. For oh, mayhem. Yes, mayhem! All right, get it out of your system. Mayhem! Mayhem! It's funny how a word loses its meaning when you say it enough times. 
We'll continue this another time. Goodbye then. Lady Har <clears throat> I mean, Scout Harding has an impressive team. Her people brought back a number of artifacts. If you need something tracked, Scout Harding is your woman. If only it were that easy. After 800 years, we can't just look for tracks. Barring enchantment, cloth and leather will have long since rotted away. Only metal and stone remain recognizable. Complicating this are recent pieces the Avar left behind, and, of course, ancient pieces dating back to Tevinter. Fortunately, thanks to some period-specific buckling, I've been able to track our last Inquisitor. You said there were pieces dating back to Tevinter. Yes. While it's rare to see Tevinter ruins so far south, the Imperium once had an outpost of some sort here. They might have built it as a, a ritual site. I'm not sure what military value it could have. In any event, it's muddled up the research slightly, but I've accounted for it. You lost me at buckling. You'd think that a buckle was a buckle. But ever since people started belting on weapons, they've been adding bits. One piece here has a dragon engraving. With the alloys of the metals used, it's clearly Tevinter. While this one uses a clasp that wasn't invented until the dawn of the Olesian Empire. And when it comes to historical research, you might say we have to buckle down. <laughs> What do you have, Professor? Everything so far points to the shore, not far to the south. There was some sort of battle near the shoreline. They were in a hurry. The scouts reported an island near an Avar fishing camp. But the Avar won't say much about it. What makes you think the last Inquisitor was fighting? There's a clasp here common to armor links. It's clearly torn. That only happens from a heavy shearing blow, like large claws or an axe. Then there's the dagger. Silverite, with a stylized dragon pommel and an inscription reading Cordillus. That dagger had to be a gift from Cordillus Dracon, first emperor of Orlais. No one would just <laughs> lose such a thing. What can you tell me about the Avar fishing camp? Much. It's the friendly Avar, not these jaws of Hakon barbarians. According to the scouts, they wouldn't say much about the area. Likely a local superstition. I'll find a way to that island and see if there's anything useful there. Excellent. I'll continue to study what's been found. With luck, we'll both find some answers. Also, one of my research assistants, Colette, was investigating an old structure to the north. I'm not certain that it's related to our investigation, but it couldn't hurt to check with her.
Inquisition soldiers. Bastards. My men and I will hold here. The Hakonites along the river still pose a threat. After this last battle, we need time to fortify and regroup. What's the situation along the river? Between the Hakonites and the wildlife, this isn't the easiest place to maintain a presence. The river's the best way for the Inquisition to send supplies from Skyhold. Or it would be if we could travel safely along it. The Hakonites set up camps near the banks, and they attack anyone who gets within view. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir. Give them that.
Creating a team. Fewer Hakonite assholes around here. Inquisitor. The Hakonites were pushed back from the river. That will put mines at ease, sir. I'll arrange patrols for the area. It's no Imperial Highway, but we'll see people along as safely as we can. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir.
fall under the call Inquisitor. I am Arvid Rolfson. Well fought. The fish will feed on fool's heart wine this night. I know not what brings you here, but we have no quarrel, you and I. How long have you lived in the basin? Stone Bear Hold's been here a few generations. I was born further north, but we left before I can remember. It was a good life, until the jaws of Hacken arrived. They brought trouble with them. People were expecting a raid, but... You don't agree? They seem bigger fools than that, for all their boasting. I cannot say what they plan, but it bodes ill. I find myself in need of a boat. I need to reach that island. The Lady's Rest. What? That island belongs to the Lady of the Skies. The spirits warn us to leave it be. Don't suppose that's just a legend? I don't wish to disturb your lady, but it's important. If I give you the boat, and you anger the spirits and die, other lowlanders may come for blood. That is trouble for my hold, and not my trouble to take. Go to Stone Bear Hold and speak with my Thane, as far as sun hair. Get her blessing, and you may sail to Korth's rocky heart, if you wish. Sounds like a party, or a fight. We'll climb a sea tired thing soon. More hunting. Is your hold beast well? We hunt as well as ever, Thane Harrison. You will be safer under the shield of the jaws of Hakon. Ask Fisherson has taken victory in sight of the Lady of the Skies. Parv, you owe four rounds to Hask, not three. Ha! Tear his tits. Wind, lift your oaths to the Lady of the Skies. And hand the rams over come sunrise. May your people be as strong as your hold beast. We've heard of your arrival, Lowlanders. Come, share my fire where we might speak. I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stone Bear Hold. You have guest welcome here. Few of our people have ever seen a Kunari. It is pleasing not to have to look down while we talk. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. We have not come to cause trouble in your home, Thane. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. Sadly, the Jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their thane, Gerd Harrofson. I wager you have crossed blades with the Jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. How did you get the name Sunhair? I was born Svara Jaina's daughter. For my legend mark, I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. You lit your hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, 
and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. It stank worse than goat shit, though. When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. What was that? The test of the lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the Mountain Father, you battle with verse while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is battle with blunted weapons. Those tests only prove who is faster or stronger, not who is right. Are your lowland trials perfect? Can the wealthy or quick-witted not succeed even when their claim is weak? As Stain, I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. I'd like to hear more about Stone Bear Hold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong and our singers are pretty. Ah, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. I'd like to know more about the Jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? What do the Jaws of Hakon believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fireside for making babies. The Hakonites care only for Hakon Winter's breath, god of war and winter. There is no evil in Hakon. There are times to fight, but the jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They raid, they fight. Eventually they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. What can you tell me of the people now calling themselves the Jaws of Hakon? They came here a few years ago, after the Blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrifson lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing, but only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. You said that there were earlier groups known as the Jaws of Hakon. Yes. Many ages ago. They thought of nothing but slaughter glory. They attacked the Lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. I will speak with you later. Fair hunting. Inquisitor? I was told I needed your permission to borrow a boat from the fisherman. Bah, Rolfson. He worries like a scared baby goat. The boat is yours. Tell him I said so. The Hakonites are attacking my people. I would welcome any assistance you could offer. Bathing my blade in the blood of the Hakonites would be cause for a feast for most in this hold. The Hakonites are fools, and they have forgotten the old ways. But we have pledged peace with them. To attack with Lowlanders at our side would make us Oathbreakers. This is poor weather for me to ask that of my hold. I understand your concern. Is there anything I could do to help? Among the Avar, a hold draws strength from its hold beast. They are as kin to us. When our hold beast is strong and happy, there is joy. When it sickens and dies, it is an ill omen. Our bear, Storbacher, has not been seen in days. The hold fears for her. I cannot ask the Hold to break peace oaths unless Storvaka returns. Does Storvaka usually live in the Hold? Does she stay in a pen, or...? <sighs> Pens are for goats and chickens, not Hold kin. The Avar are free. So must be our Hold beasts. Storvaka lives in a cave near the Hold. She comes to visit if she wishes to see us. We bring her gifts of food. Not enough that she will not hunt for herself. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but bears and I traditionally do not get along. You were fought bears. <laughs> you lived. Good for you. Fear will keep you respectful, should you find Storbacher. 
You will be fine. So, you're saying she's friendly? Um... Do you have any members of the Hold searching for Storvaka? The Hold is already fearful. A great hunt for our Hold Beast would show weakness to the Hakonites. If she were dead, the Augur would know. So the hunters watch for tracks. That is all we can do. The way you asked us to help find Storvaka made it sound like you were willing to break your oath. I could say that Avar hold all oaths sacred. That no true Avar would break them. It would be a good lie. Lowlanders doubtless say the same of themselves. A cunning Thane can find a hole in the tent of any promise. A place for the cold wind to sneak in. We are bone and blood. Oaths last until they are broken. If I find your bear and you break the oath, what happens to Stone Bear Hold? Other holds share oaths with the jaws of Hakon. They are sworn to defend or avenge them. If the Hakonites were friends, they would attack us. But they are friends to few. We will send offerings, trade, and gifts to pay the price of oath breaking. The storm will pass. I do not do this lightly, Inquisitor. But the Hakonites are tiresome. I'm a little confused about why I have to find a bear in order to gain the support of your tribe. Storvaka is not a bear. She is our hold beast. She ties us to the gods. Without her, we... I do not know whether your people have gods, or if they can be stolen, but it is not good. I know more of this world than the world of spirits. Speak with our augur if you would know more. They're our gods, not yours. For you, it is enough that Storvaka matters to us. I will speak with you later. Ask those in the hold about Storvaka. They may know something they have not told me. see many holds, but I'll tell you, there are none finer. I assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says otherwise? No one. I lead our hunts, Inquisitor. My leg aches. One eye can't see in the dark. And I bring more meat than anyone in the hold. Goat's piss do I hunt. I apologize. I was just curious. I suppose you can't help Lowlander's manners. Do you have any idea where Storvaka has gone? Our hold animal's a hungry one. She might be after the game in the valley to the west. As the weather's turning, I'd not think she'd run further. Farewell. Farewell. the Inquisitor. I hear your people already sing songs of you. How are you so well informed? Oh, Helsdim soaks up gossip when he goes trading. He just returned from the lowlands. I'm Fulna Hethstotten, keeper of histories and Skold to the hold. I've never met a Skold. Is that anything like a bard? I suppose. Every hold has someone who sings its songs. Doesn't yours? Fair enough. We keep the old songs and histories, the oaths and the legend marks. I understood all of that, except legend mark. The skull before me was born Gulda Elstoth. She crafted a great new tale for the hold. It pleased the spirits. After that, we called her Gulda Gildan's song. 
So their titles, honorifics. Not all carry glory. My father was Heth Mule's head. <sighs> He'd never let go of a quarrel. Can you choose a legend mark for yourself? <sighs> only if I wanted to be scorned as a child. I've only been a scold a few years. I've not made any great feats, good or ill. Yet. Farewell. Good journeys. speak about in the lowlands, aren't you? The Herald of Andraste. Many call me that. Helmsdim Rolfson. I trade our goods outside the hold. You'll not find better this side of the mountain. Have you traveled outside of Stonebear Hold? Court Mountain Father provides. But press us, and we'll admit there's lowlander goods we can't craft ourselves. I sell our goods there. The old trader taught me how to read and write. ...and how to act in your cities. Where does your trading take you? Denerim and Southreach in Ferelden. Leeds and Verche in Orlay. When the passes are clear, I take our wares to Val Royal. Surely you can get a fair price for your goods closer than Val Royal. Ah... ...well... ...that's truth, but... ...have you seen it? My heart lies with the hold... ...but I'll die remembering the light on the gates of the sun. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. Everyone thinks I'm mad when I speak of Orlais. They believe I make half of it up. As if I could dream up those fountains and palaces. And those frilly little cakes. Most in the hold call any city outside the mountains prideful or lowlander folly. Farewell. Another time. So, she arrives. Don't throng! Behold, worthy ones, the woman who blazes like fire and mends the air. Oh, crap. It's safe. They mean no harm. I am the ogre of Stonebear Hold. I greet you, as do our gods, the gods of our ancestors. Yes, it is done. Now come, be welcome. But hear news of the North. I met a mage in the woods, who said she used to be an auger's apprentice. Sigrid Goldstot. She left the hold when I told her she must release her teacher. Aren't you her teacher? She might have heeded me if I were. <laughs> or perhaps not. It's time the spirit in her was free. She's possessed. An abomination. Every mage in the hold is made one with the gods, until they're strong enough. I thought Sigrid strong enough. Exile was her own notion. Why did Sigrid go into exile? Sigrid built an altar by the shore for her rite of thanksgiving. A ritual to part her from her teacher. Sigrid claims her offering was spurned by the gods. The spirit remains with her, which is taken to exile. I should be off. Farewell. Be welcome. I'd like to ask something. Then ask. I assume auger is another word for mage. I am a mage. Yet not all mages are augurs. I give counsel to other mages and the fame. In turn, an auger takes counsel from the gods and shares it with the hold. I make their will known to us and ours to them. So you're an ambassador to the local spirits? Some have wisdom, for those willing to listen. They protect the hold. They help drive off spirits who've gone bad with rage or gloom. The gods live with us. Ignore their offerings, offer them nothing, and it weakens us all. 
I've heard enough to realize that when you say gods, you mean spirits. Why do you pray to them? We offer to them. We don't pray like the lowlanders to a creator they think will weather all the ages. Do you actually think they're divine beings? Something more than magic? The spirits watched us even before we came from the north. They shaped themselves into our gods, and we grew to love them. Their secret gift is this, Inquisitor. They reflect us as water does the sky. They show us what we wish to be. That image gives us strength. For that, we thank the gods. You let spirits possess your mages on purpose. What better teacher than one woven from magic? The spirits in the hold have helped us in this way for hundreds of years. Once a mage masters their powers, their teacher departs, duty ended. Unless the mage is weak. What happens to these weak mages? Their teachers stay with them, and the other gods watch them both, so neither soul turns sick. If one does sicken, or the mage stands in risk of harming the hold, one day, they do not wake in their bed. It is very sad. It is what must be done. You mean you let a spirit... It is kinder than what happens in many mage circles. Be welcome. Did you just... introduce me to spirits? The gods of the hold clamored to see you. I obeyed. For I'm their voice, and their augur. And if I didn't show you off, they'd hound me for months. What did you mean when you said I blaze like a fire? How do you think you appear to the gods of the Fade? To those beyond the Veil, your hand burns like the Watchman's bonfire. Are you saying every spirit in the Fade knows where I am? Only those nearby, but thoughts spread quickly among the gods. They tell me strange things. That you mudded time's waters where the cliffs are red, and returned again. I'd like to ask something. Then ask. I should be off. Farewell. drinking hackenite chicken craps thank you inquisitor storvaka has returned my hunters saw what you and she did to the hackenites who held her in trapping storvaka the jaws of hakon broke their peace oath with stone bear hold our blades are yours i assume your bear is all right after whatever they were going to do to her she is fine as for what they were going to do, my hunters brought items back from where they held Storvaka. I know what they intended. It is not something you will like. Something few Avar would tell Lowlanders. But you must hear it. The jaws of Hakon sought to bind their god in mortal form and bring war to the Lowlands. They wanted to send a god to destroy us. Could they wait until I'm done with the current god who wants to destroy us? You are right to worry. This battle is not yet won. Though you have given them pause, they will try again. Ages ago, the old jaws of Hakon did the same. They brought their god to life to destroy the Lowlands. Their foolishness lost Hakon to all Avar. Now they would free him and begin again. What did you mean when you said that their foolishness lost Hakon to all Avar? When they bound Hakon to mortal form, he became blood of this world. He could hear no prayers, nor speak to the augurs. All he could do was kill. Then he vanished instead of dying, as though rendered mute, lost for ages. If they sought to free him from mortal form, I could understand. Making him attack the lowlands is a fool's work. 
The Avar wouldn't like the idea of war with the Lowlands. Is that what your skulls say? <laughs> it does us no harm to be feared. If our land is threatened, we will happily fight. And a raid here and there keeps both sides sharp. But we have no need of your Lowlands. Not when our goats are fat and our fish are plenty. And not when the sky is torn with demons. Only a fool fights in a burning boat. What would happen if the Jaws of Hakon succeeded in their plan? Hakon would come to the Lowlands in the form of a great beast. The Hakonites would join him. Their numbers swelled by foolish young warriors dreaming of honor names. Even if war were needed, it should not be like that. With gods wreaking havoc in blood-soaked fields, the gods should stay where they belong. Based on what we know, what must we do to stop the Jaws of Hakon? Their hold is an old lowlander fortress. It is shielded by a great wall of ice. Magic even the Hakonites do not know. Unravel its magic, and we will scatter their bones so the Lady never finds them. We still need a way to melt the wall of ice around the Hakonites' fortress. Do you have any ideas? No. It is lowlander magic and nothing to do with us. Our spirit talkers are useless as battle goats. The Hakonites must have found the magic in the old fortress. Speak to your people. Perhaps they will know more. I will speak with you later. Walk with the Lady's blessing. So, but better. Did I thank you for bringing the broth? Yes, but I don't mind hearing it twice. If I can. Yeah. Thane Sunhair gave me guest welcome at Stonebearhold. Aye, she sent word. As a guest, then, may I please borrow your boat? We would be poor hosts to refuse. The boat is yours. I hope you come back alive. Smell sea air and spice. That's. that isn't right. The spirits gathered here were drawn to tragedy. They radiated, as fire does heat. Glad I asked. Interesting. What drew so many spirits to this place, I wonder? Solus, 
This seems like something you might be able to help with. Pain drew the wraiths. But this spirit touched the mind of someone who cared for Inquisitor Emeridan. Emeridan? Yes. Inquisitor. Beloved. I... She... Came with Emeridan to hunt the dragon. The dragon? Huge. Power like none had seen. It came from the mountains with the Avar. Towns fell, all dead. One last favor for Emperor Draken. Slay the Avar dragon, save or lay. Can you tell me what happened to Inquisitor Emeridan? They fought at the shore. Spirits and magic. Cold. So cold. How I found her. How she found us. They rested here. Then up the river. Metal spires. A way to stop the dragon. Then Talana returned here, alone. To wait for him. Forever waiting. Dreaming. Then... Dead. We'll find Emeridan. You don't have to wait here anymore. You have done all she asked of you. Be free. Thank you. It was hard. I... She... Went a long time ago. I stayed because she asked. Her things are there. She wanted them found.
just from curiosity before it. <laughs> May I help you, Inquisitor? A spirit on the island held the memories and possessions of Ameridan's lover, a woman named Talana. It told us that Ameridan was here on orders from Emperor Draken himself, and where he went next. Trust his dimples. I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. Ameridan had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything! You don't have a problem receiving information from spirits? It's not ideal, but since you found corroborating physical evidence, I see no serious issues. Any study of great wars and battlefields carries an inherent risk of contact with demons or spirits. When spirits are willing to talk, most historians love the chance of a first-hand report. What does it change knowing that Ameridan was on a mission from Emperor Draken? Everything. One current theory holds that Ameridan was selfishly throwing off his responsibilities to go hunting. Another suggests Draken had him removed or even killed because Ameridan opposed the Navarran Accord. But if this is true, then Ameridan was a loyal servant of Orlais. He was not an embarrassment. He was a patriot protecting Orle while Draken fought in the Second Blight. You were surprised to hear that Ameridan had a lover. Yes, this Talana you mentioned. Her existence has been hotly debated. Some scholars took Inquisitor Ameridan's respect for the Chantry to imply that he remained celibate. In ages past, there were stories about him and his lover, a mage. They made it out to be a star-crossed romance. The Chantry silenced the stories strenuously. When I helped the Avar at Stone Bear Hold, we learned that the Jaws of Hakon once bound their god's soul to a beast. According to the spirit, the dragon Ameridan faced was powerful and accompanied by hostile Avar. You believe they could be one and the same? That would mean... Of course! Of course! Brilliant! 800 years ago, the Second Blight threatened a weak Orle. A perfect time for the Avar to attack. This Avar God Dragon could have endangered the Olesian Empire had Ameridan not stopped it. That explains why he would accept such a dangerous mission. And likely how he died. How bad would it be if the contemporary Jaws of Hakon bound their god to a dragon again? With Orlay still involved in civil war and recovering from the Mage Templar conflict, not to mention the remaining demon rifts and Corypheus himself, a high dragon given malice and magic by an Avar god spirit could hypothetically destroy much of Orlay. At least, I hope that was hypothetically. You're not concerned about the literal existence of an Avar god? Not particularly. If the Jaws of Hakon once bound their god to a dragon, it is likely just a powerful spirit. That isn't to downplay the important cultural significance to the Avar, but magic does not equate godhood. Every blight comes from the old gods, which are also dragons corrupted by some outside influence. Sometimes I wonder if we really know what we mean by gods. It seems Inquisitor Ameridan saved Orle 800 years ago. It's time to honor his legacy. The spirit said to follow the river to the north, and something about spires or spikes. Ah. Up the river. Um, the scouts have had trouble with Hakonites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now, your guess is as good as mine. What do you need me to do next, Professor? That spirit on the island said something about Ameridan going upriver to, um... ...some place with, with spires? 
While you search upriver, I'll continue studying these buckles. That, um, sounded better in my head. I'll speak with you later. Up the river. That old Taventer building must be what the spirit meant.
This is brilliant. This must be what the spirit meant. Excellent find. From what I can see, this is an ancillary station. Likely a scouting post for the larger structure to the east. What can it tell us about where Inquisitor Ameridan went? Hmm. I got Professor Kenrick here safely. The rest is up to you. Lady Harding was quite nimble in the wilderness. I'll be watching to make sure the Hackenites don't come back. This is Tevinter, from well before the last Inquisitor's time. I understand they use such tiles as locks. Interesting, though not likely related to Ameridan. I believe that shape relates to the tiles. If you could replicate the shape in the tiles, something would happen. Venerous. The elven word for dream, I think. It's some sort of clue to this barrier. I'm not sure how.
done indeed. That's something you don't see every day. A pair of shrines. This one is clearly Andrastian, albeit from a very early period, likely pre-divine. But this is Elven, one of their gods. Uh, what was it? Every mother finds Druffalo among sleeping juniper groves. G something. The one with the deer. Gelanan. Yes! Brilliant, thank you. Oh, that would have bothered me all day. Two shrines for two lovers. Inquisitor Emeridan and Talana. Maybe Talana was an elf. Oh, yes. That's good. The Chantry expunged references to elves before the exalted march on the Dales. They erased the canticle of Shartan. They must have done the same to Talana. The Chantry should not rewrite history to cover up inconvenient truths. Regardless, the important thing is what this tells us. It's not a burial site. That much is obvious. Look at those flowers. They're not native to the area. What if they were left at the shrine as an offering? Yes. A night of prayer before battle against the dragon. But then where? Where? We're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, where did you go? Professor, look at this. Shartan 10-7 and Transfigurations 10-1. Shartan is dissonant. And before them, empty, outstretched, lay the land which led to the gates of Minrathus. And Transfigurations is, the light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world. Why these verses? Why would Inquisitor Emeridan take the time to carve this before going into battle? Isn't there a Tavinta fortress in the area? Yes. Oh, of course! The ritual site! To seal the dragon away, a Meriden's elven mage must have used a spell at a site of great power. My scouts have checked the fortress. It's sealed behind a wall of ice. It has to be magic. Let's look around. A Meriden found a way through that ice, so that way should be nearby. sealed away the dragon. I'll follow the markers and see what we can find. Given that the trail markers retain enough energy to illuminate one another, I see no reason to worry. You think these things will get us through that giant fortress wall?
Not far to that old Vind fortress now. man in the last village. Something in his manner troubles me. The baker with the squint and the red nose? Here, yeah, spy. Probably Venatori. Why do you say that? He watched all of us. A normal guy would focus on you because staff, or me because horns. He had a dagger up his sleeve, which no baker needs, and the knot on his apron was tied to Vinta style. I sent a message to Red. She'll investigate. You are more observant than you appear. The good spies usually are. Go! 
gods are weak, Inquisitor! You will see the power of Hakon when we destroy the Lowlands! No way we... Take this place by force! We need another plan! What about Stonebear Hold? Anybody can get in. It'll be them. When you are ready, you have our blades, Inquisitor. You said that the Jaws of Hakon first tried binding their god in mortal form hundreds of years ago. What of it? In our search for Inquisitor Emeridan, we learned that he came here to fight a great dragon 800 years ago. A dragon that came from the mountains with Avar warriors to attack the Lowlands. <sighs> Your last Inquisitor must have fought well to stop Hakon himself. You're not bothered by the idea that our Inquisitor killed your god? He didn't kill him. That would have been easier. Whatever fight your Inquisitor finished, the Jaws of Hakon started. I find no fault with a warrior defending his people. Do the Avar gods take mortal form on a regular basis? No. The gods belong in the Land of Dreams. Whether it is their wish or some augurs that brings them here, battle tears will be shed. The Skulls say the Lady of the Skies took mortal form when Tyrda Brightax first led the Avar to the mountains. They say many things about Brightax and the Lady. I will speak with you later. Walk with the Lady's blessing. When you are ready, you have our blades, Inquisitor. I will speak with you later. Walk with the Lady's blessing. When you are ready, you have our blades, Inquisitor. I'm ready to attack the Jaws of Hakon. Good. They will pay the blood price for what they have done. Your Skald and your Scout are here. We can plan the assault. Oh, I like the sound of Skald. It's more dramatic than Professor. <coughs> <coughs> yes. Well, uh, everything we've found out about Inquisitor Emeridan suggests that he never emerged from that Tevinter fortress. If that is where your Inquisitor defeated Hakon, that is where the jaws of Hakon must perform the right to free him. Inquisitor Emeridan saved the Lowlands from an Avar invasion. We cannot do any less. You really have no problem with us killing your god? Gods cannot be reborn until they die. Hakon needs a good rebirthing. If you say so. With its ice wall melted, the fortress is open to attack. We must strike soon, before our foes recover. They're already trying. I've got most of our forces defending the shrine from Hakonites who want to restore the wall. We don't have time to drag siege equipment through the forest to take down those walls. A siege? Bah. We have no need of rock throwers and rams. I'm no warrior, but with Lady Harding's forces defending the shrine and no way to breach the walls... <sighs> Lowlanders. Why not climb the walls? Your warriors can get over those walls before the Hakonites stop them? This is not a war, Stone Daughter. This is a raid. We strike at night, clad lightly. We climb the wall and open the gate from inside. If Stonebear Hold can open the gates, we would be grateful. The jaws of Hakon have been bugs in my bedroll for months, Inquisitor. We owe you thanks. Inquisition forces will feign weakness near the shrine. That'll draw some of them away from the fortress. Not too many, I hope. Yes, save some for us. Right, Inquisitor. Ask and I will climb over. I'll be there to catch Parv when he slips. Of course you will. You'll be behind me after all. Where the guard? I've got him. There! It's the wall around us! Kill the Inquisitor! Death to her hold! Of 
Fuck. Good to see you again. Must be underway. There is a great deal of magical energy coming from the bottom of the crater. the wards, they will sap your strength.
This isn't natural. We'd better hurry unless you like freezing to death. The cold isn't so bad here. We must hurry. The ritual to free the spirit of Hakon is underway. That leader is calling the spirit of Hakon into his own body. Who does that? That's a terrible idea.
against the might of Mountain Fire. Crush the creed of Korf the Callow. Leave the lady lost and lonely. Scour the skies of spirits sorrow. There's the dragon! As long as it holds still like that. We should be alright. Breath to rack the moment, cold to cut and kill the hated. Meet the might of Mountain Fire, crush the creed of Korf the Callow. Leave the lady lost and lonely. Scour the skies of spirits sorrow. Blessings, cold and pain!
until the ritual is disrupted. Stand against me! You shall fall!
Inquisitor. Inquisitor? Draken's empire has spread far while I slept. Inquisitor Emeridan, you disappeared in 120 Divine, around the time of the signing of the Navaran Accord. You say it as though it was... How long? There has not been an Inquisitor since you disappeared. 800 years ago. Draken was my oldest friend. He would have sent someone to find me. He never had the chance. The dark spawn that rose in the Enderfells threatened all of Orlais. I see. Talana escaped the battle. Did she... Do the records say what became of her? She returned to the island. From what we can tell, she died trying to reach you through dreams. I asked her not to. She was a good hunter and the love of my life, but she never... I never wanted this job. Hunting demons was so much simpler than politics. But Draken told me I was needed. As I suspect you were needed. It hasn't all been bad. I am glad to hear it. And sorry to burden you with my unfinished business. The dragon carries the spirit of an Avar god. I lacked the strength to kill it. My own magic was able to bind us all, locked in time. But when the cultists drew that spirit into another vessel, it disrupted my bindings. It is breaking free. You won't be fighting it alone this time. No. You will. The passage of years can be delayed, but not ignored. I will soon join Talana at Andraste's side. Take this. It holds the last few memories of an old hunter who was neither as wise nor as strong as he thought. Fight well, Inquisitor. I am honored to have met you. some point. Probably has the Avar guard back inside it.
Talana and I can deal with the dragon. My spirit companion believes we can seal the dragon away, even if we cannot kill it. It is less clear whether I can do so without sealing myself in as well. But I have little choice. This beast will wreak devastation across all lay unless we stop it now. It's a damn fine story. Shame nobody found it till now. He did not do it for recognition. He did it because it was necessary. see that much these days. Belief is a funny thing. An elven inquisitor must have had a careful path to walk. Alchemical tricks she wants to try, like pitch or tar, but strong. The recipe straight from Forzaman. They argue, fuss, and mock each other mercilessly. And I would be lost without them. The more things change. This Orena sounds like good people. Huh. Sounds like the old Inquisitor could have used someone bigger up front. on the Avar. Some of them paid us a friendly visit. A couple even helped repair our fortifications. And one woman brought us a barrel of fermented fish. Kenrick ate some. <laughs> to be polite, he said. Well, he was a very polite shade of green. I should go. Be careful out there. Draken know better than the Imperium. But 
If we do not stand with the humans against the Darkspawn, we might lose everything we have gained. I will fight this Avar Dragon for you, Draken. And then we shall drive back the Darkspawn together. But he never returned. And the Elves of the Dales ignored the Second Light. Less than 100 years later, that hostility turned to war and the Elves lost their homeland again. So, the ancient Hakonite assholes didn't destroy the Lowlands like they wanted, but they did get the Elves. I could do without all the demons, boss. Any time you want to leave, it's fine by me. Everyone she loves die, I imagine.
Lowlands, I am the President, the cold wind of war. Join me in battle and die!
never gotten to see you take down a dragon in person. I must say, it's fun to see it up close. Perhaps this calls for a new title. Dragon Slayer Harding, perhaps. Oh, a fancy title goes against the point of being a scout. Nobody should see me coming. Inquisitor Meriden would have been proud that you finished what he started. It's strange. History forgot so much of who he was. They never knew he died saving everyone. Do you ever feel that way? You weren't in the fortress. How'd you hear about Meriden? I'm a scout. Remember? Who do you think writes the messages Liliana reads? It's not about what we feel. It's about doing what needs to be done. I suppose you're right. For what it's worth. Nice work, Adar. Anyway, I'll be at camp if there's anything here you want to finish up. Otherwise, see you at Skyhold. Inquisitor, you have done more for us than most who are of Stone Bear Hold. It is not right that a guest do so much. The Hold has spoken, and you are no guest. You are kin. More than that, your deeds have earned a legend mark worthy of one who broke the jaws of Hakon. From today, you are known to us as Inquisitor First Thor. What? I mean, I'm sorry, that's... but... Uh, first thing. Yes. When the ice breaks and new spring comes to give life to the world, it is a very good name. I will speak with you later. Farewell. <laughs> I hear you judge wrongs among your people, Inquisitor. If you are willing, I ask you to judge Storvaka. I'm sorry. As a warrior of our hold, Storvaka should have died rather than submit to the vile ritual the jaws of Hakon had prepared. It is unclear whether the Augur or I should judge such a thing. You are here. I would be grateful. I suppose I could render judgment, if it helps the hold. Ah, oh, Storvaka, will you speak to the hold for your deeds? When lowland mages commit grave crimes, there is a right of tranquility. Now, just hypothetically... No. As honorary member of the Hold, I believe a Hold Beast can travel with my people and still keep her oaths. Storvaka, as Inquisitor First Thor, your punishment will be to serve my Inquisition. Lady. The Master of the Hunt will make mockery of me for this. Uh. Uh. 
Inquisitor first, Thor. I will speak with you later. Walk with the Lady's blessing. Inquisitor. Let us begin. Let's see what we have. 